Welcome back to NHB Retro. We've got a pretty interesting project that I'm going to be starting here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a um, an IBM PC, the uh, 5150, and it looks like it's in pretty rough shape, to be honest. Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, rust on this showing through the paint here uh, there's no screws in anything we've got an interesting selection of cards in there um, yeah so let me pull the top off and uh, give you guys a look inside and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with I think this is going to end up being a uh, multi-part <laughs> restoration for me. Uh, restoration might be overstating it, but um, project, I guess. Uh, but anyway, let's get the top off and see what's inside. All right, here's what we have. Um, two floppy drives. Uh, again, no, no screws in anything, so these are just sitting in there. Um, they are connected to the controller card, but I don't believe there's anything connected to the power in there um, let's see let's uh, what's the best way to do this let me get you set up on a tripod and I'll pull some of these cards out um, and we'll see what we're dealing with but yeah the general condition here is dirty <laughs> I would say dirty and missing you know any missing whatever it could be missing as far as hardware goes um, I think it has all the chips. I, I did take a brief look at the motherboard, but yeah, everything's sort of in a disconnected state, um, missing all the hardware. Um, yeah, let me let me uh, set you up and we'll, and we'll get the cards taken out. Okay, there we go. Um, first of all, let's get this sound blaster uh, pulled out here. This is uh, this is an ISA sound blaster. It is a 16-bit ISA card, but I assume it's also will work just fine in an 8-bit ISA slot. I'm not really sure. However, it is like really cruddy. Um, at first, I thought this was all corrosion. It looks like it's dirt that maybe someone tried to clean off at one point with some water, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't see any rust or corrosion, so maybe not water, but yeah, it looks like it made mud. Uh, Board otherwise looks okay, so you know, fingers crossed on that one. Uh, let's pull out this disc controller here. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that like that. Of course, nothing is firmly seated, nothing is screwed in. Um, it was all shipped this way, which, yeah. Um, okay, so there's the drive controller card. Doesn't look terrible on first inspection. I don't see anything obviously um, missing or broken. Um, yeah, so once again, fingers crossed that we've got uh, a working controller card here. Um, uh, okay, then we, here we have a big old chunk of memory. One thing this, this case is missing is the little front brackets. It only has one of them. Um, if anybody knows a, a place to source those, um, or perhaps if there's a way to 3, 3D print those, I imagine it would be pretty easy. Let's pull out this memory card. It's a little bit stuck in there. All right. Whew. Yeah, big, big honking card. Um, this one also looks pretty clean. The, I think that, that Sound Blaster may have been uh, the exception. The, so far, these other boards look pretty clean. It's got um, two empty banks, but the rest of them are all uh, full. I'll have to look up the various dip switches, etc. I don't see a um, don't see a brand on this. Probably it is a clone of. Um, something normal. I will have to look into that uh, more when we get to that point. Okay, and last but not least, hopefully, this is a Hercules card, which I assume means it's a monochrome. 
graphics card. Hercules did later make other types of graphics cards, but um, yeah, uh, there it is. Actual Hercules branding, um, 1984. This one, yeah, again, looks pretty clean. I'll have to look at it really closely. Uh, oh, okay, the back does not look super clean. It looks, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a there's a bunch of residue. I'll just have to clean that up. And yeah, just in general, this computer uh, is full of stuff like this where, you know, there's been some insects and whatever else living in there. Really gross. Um, okay, I'm going to pull off this drive cable. Let's do this one first. Try to get you guys a, a view. This one here, um, these are both Tandon drives. Uh, this one has an IBM faceplate on it. The other one doesn't, but they're both, you know, the same, the same drive. Okay, let me get this situated and I'll, sh I'll show you what uh, what's going on in here. Okay, I'm just going to pull both these drives out. I almost uh, tipped one of these out when I was unpacking it because, again, no mounting hardware. Hopefully these... Okay, no surprises under there. Um, pretty standard these machines as i understand it i'm not super knowledgeable about those but um, there's a good shot of the tandon corporation um tm100-2 and like i mentioned this one is ibm branded on the faceplate at least all right let's pull the other one out of there this one does have one Screw, I noticed, but it is only finger tight. How handy. So the one mounting screw from the entire computer. Let's see. Sometimes these are a little bit touchy just because of all the various bits and bobs that might stick up and hit that. Ah, yeah, this one's actually pushing on that jumper pack. Alrighty. Oops, sorry about that. So yeah, there is the second drive. Um, also says Tandon on it. Um, TM102A. Very uh, prominent Tandon branding in the casting as well. Belt looks okay. We'll be figuring all that stuff out as we go. Okay, so let me um, swing you around here. We'll take a little closer look at the motherboard. Actually, I wonder if I can slide this. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, there actually is one screw in here and a couple standoffs and another screw there. I'm gonna pull this out and we'll get a better close at the, at the a closer look at the, at the motherboard, which by the way, just on close inspection is filthy. Okay, here we have the um, 5150 motherboard. It's uh, out of the case. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically, like I said, just generally filthy, um, lots of dust, I'm not seeing anything exploded or um, burned, bunch of tantalum capacitors that all appear to be intact still, just filthy, filthy, dusty, uh, even maybe some little remnants of critters on there. Um, yeah, just generally in horribly filthy shape. The power supply, uh, 
connector. Uh, can't tell if that's a little scorch mark or just some trash that is on there. Um, let me, God, at least get rid of that. <laughs> Hopefully I'm out in the garage. Yeah, there's dust. Dust storm going everywhere. I will be um, doing a much thorough, much more thorough cleaning of this <laughs> board in the very near future. Um, but yeah, that's what we're starting with. Let me, um, have not looked at the back yet. Okay, we've got uh, several standoffs still intact. Ugh, not sure what that even is. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, some really nasty stuff on here. <laughs> and I'm almost out of compressed air. I'm going to have to turn on the air compressor here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, back here it actually looks surprisingly less um, disgusting for the most part, except for whatever that is. Um, yeah, I don't see, like, corrosion or anything. Obviously, these things didn't have a battery, so... And this side of the board was facing down for all of its life, so... Um, that is where we're at, though. Just flip it over one more time here to... Yeah, this side. <laughs> okay, so um, that's where we're starting. Uh, this is going to be an exciting project. Uh, I have some other projects in the works, so I kind of, I might get to this as, as I can. Um, I don't yet have a solution for getting video out of this. Uh, I will be, I'm, I'm getting a, um, RGB to HDMI, which I think will handle the MDA signal from that Hercules card just fine. I might also look for an, a CGA card, EGA card, VGA card, if, I, I believe there's 8-bit VGA cards, um. But yeah, uh, that's where we're at, and um, when I have more info, I will um, bring you back. Oh, and, and by the way, if you know of a really good um, source for uh, you know replacement um, hardware, for instance, like all the fasteners and stuff like that, um, let me know. Even if you know like the the paint color for the <laughs> the cover, I think I'm gonna be, want to uh, repaint that. It it, it is pretty. Um, not only dirty, but uh, rusted. I'll give it a good clean first and see where we're at there. But um, yeah, uh, part one and part uh, multi-parts to follow. Who knows how many? Um, I hope you guys uh, find it interesting.